Hey there YouTube, Shady Bill's Garage here on a beautiful fall day in October 2014 and we are at the Crossroad Tavern on the corner of Hancock, New York and it looks like Lake Como, Pennsylvania. Um, beautiful day, about 64, 65 degrees and I'm going to do a quick video here between my 2014 Harley Davidson Street Glide and this 2016 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And basically, what are the differences and which one is better for you? Um, and really, they are the same bike. From the steering head back, they are the same bike. The difference really is the fairing. So here you see the Road Glide with the dual front headlights and the Street Glide with the regular Batwing fairing. So which one's better for you? Which one do you like? Well, obviously, it's going to come down to personal taste. What do you think looks better? Um, but there are some differences when you get into it. So I'll start here with the street glide. With the standard batwing fairing, I'm going to sit on the bike. You can see where my handlebars are. And here's the key, though. This is the fall. We've been out since uh, 8 o'clock this morning when it was around 40 degrees. And as you see with the bat wing and where my handlebars are, I have a lot of wind protection on my hands. The big difference on this bike, other than looks, is that the bat wing fairing gives you a lot more wind protection. If you ride in cold weather um, with the stock bars, you're really going to like where the, the wind protection you have. I've been wearing leather mesh gloves all day and are perfectly happy, uh, where everyone else is wearing heated gloves in the morning. Um, you have your standard gauges and the nav, and I'm sitting where I would usually sit, and it's a very easy reach to the nav system. All right, now if I go sit on the street glide, oh, and also it's kind of a pain in the ass to change your handlebars on a street glide because you got to take the fairing off and all that because it's all through there. Road glide's a little easier, and as you see, he has pulled back bars on this bike, but even if my hands were here, you see, you do not have the wind protection. He actually has these little bark busters. It says they don't do much. Um, you don't have the wind protection in this fairing on your hands. Um, you have the fairing is frame mounted. So if you drive a lot of highways, this does offer more stability um, on the highway. Um, you don't get the wind buffeting where the wind hits your the batwing fairing. It pushes on the handlebars a little bit. This bike does feel a little more stable on the highway. Gauges are down here by the handlebars, um, and then the nav is up here. It's just a little farther away. Like, you have to kind of reach for it. You can obviously change the windshield wherever you want, and it has the same thing this has with the little flap, so you can direct your uh, wind. Um, but except for that, it is really the same bike. It's all what you like. Um, so, you know, they say that there's... this. The bat, the uh, road glide, road uh, glide fairing adds a little weight, but it all depends on what you like. Um, I'm going to tell you the one thing that you never read is that this does give you far more wind protection in cold weather. Um, so if that's important to you, if you ride in cold weather, my two cents: the street glide has a better fairing. If you don't ride in cold weather, you do a lot of highways probably the road glide might fit you better. Thanks, YouTube.